how do you choose proper shoe wear, proper running shoes? Hi, my name is Jasper and I'm a chiropractor at uh, Milton and Fordham Chiropractic Clinics and we're located in the outskirts of Cambridge and Bury St Edmunds. And we see a lot of problems in our clinic from ranging from plantar fasciitis, uh, Achilles tendonitis, jumper's knee, which is essentially a tendon injury at the patella tendon, which is located at the bottom of your knee. Uh, and yeah, we, I mean, we can help these. We've got uh, the, the STAR treatment protocol where we do shockwave and treatment and we give exercises and we look for, we scan the feet, we've got top of the range uh, foot scan to see if you're pronating, supinating, if you need some, some supportive wear, year and a. But a lot of these uh, problems can actually be prevented by just getting some proper shoes, proper running shoes. So um, that's what this video is going to be about. Now the first thing to remember with running shoes is that they will last you for about 500 to 750 kilometers. Uh, so once you've done 500 kilometers with a running shoe, buy yourself a second pair uh, and say you run twice a week uh, on Monday, uh, Monday and Friday. On the Monday you wear your old pair, on the Friday you wear your new pair and you break them in January so you get used to them. Now, the four things that you need to look out for when buying a shoe if you decide you don't want to go to a running shop uh, but you want to do it yourself is this. Pick up a shoe. Hold it between your hands and just push in the toe. And what you want to see is you want to make sure that where this bends here matches the big joint of your first toe. And what you see with the, with the cheaper shoes is that the, the, the bending point is actually way too far back or way too far forward. So it needs to be about a fifth or a sixth uh, down from the front and it needs to match where your big toe is. So that's the first thing you, uh, you need to do. The second thing you need to do is look at the material. So there are quite a few runners out there who pronate, which means that your foot comes, oh, it, it, it comes in a little bit too far when you land. So you go over the inside of your foot. And what a lot of runners have, running shoes have, is they've got some support, normally in the middle of the shoe. So what manufacturers do is they give this a bit of a different color in the, in the, in the sole. So they give it gray or whatever, whatever color it is. But you want to make it is actually a different material and that the consistency is different. So you want to put your thumb, first of all, in the back of the, in the, back of the sole, so you feel the consistency there, but then feel the consistency in the middle of the shoe as well. Because what cheaper manufacturers do with, with cheaper shoes is that they only change the color, but the material is exactly the same. There's no difference there. So you make sure that you check that and make sure it is actually different material. The third thing you need to look out for, I need to come a little bit closer to the camera, is this. You see you've got these graphics on the side of the shoe here. Now they actually have a function and what they're supposed to put, they should be doing, is make sure that your shoe, or your foot sits snug in the shoe when you tighten your laces. So for that to be able to do it, you need to make sure that whatever graphics you have, go all the way to the top and interact with the lace. So the lace should penetrate the, the graphic and then you shoot, your shoe sits snug and you're nice and stable. Now, what you see with these cheaper shoes is the graphic stop halfway. There's actually nothing there. So no matter how much you tighten them, you'll only tighten the top, but you won't tighten the side of the shoe to make your foot nice and stable in there. So that's the third thing you want to check. And the last thing you want to check is what we call the, the heel cap. So it's a cap in the back of a shoe that makes sure that your heel sits nice and stable into the shoe. And what you do, what you do very simply, is you push the back end, go all the way forward, and you see where this heel cap actually ends. And it should end about a third forward in the shoe. So your heel is really nice and closed and stable in the shoe. Now again, what we're seeing with the cheaper shoes is when you push in the back, there's sometimes no heel cap at all, there's no stability, so avoid them at any cost. Uh, or the heel cap actually stops already like on the six down of the shoe, so your heel is not enclosed or stabilized in the shoe. So those are the four points you want to look out for. Uh, hold the shoe in your hand and push in, make sure it bends at the right spot. Put your thumb in, your nail into the sole and make sure that the material on the inside is a different consistency than the one in the back if you're looking for a bit of support on the inside. Check out and make sure the laces actually interact with some of the graphics on the side so your foot sits snug into the shoe and you want to check the heel cap huh, and make sure the heel cap runs forward far enough uh, so you're getting the stability. So those are the hallmarks of a good shoe. Listen, running is fantastic. Uh, please keep on, keep on doing it. Um, I think there's a lot of value in this video. Good luck with choosing your shoes and um, bye for now. Bye bye.